And with that, all right, now let's, I am going to have to move that real quick. Uh, get the buff. There we go. All right. Let's see. I have my PC right here. I have stretched. I have my drink. I don't have a snack with me because that's a little awkward to do on stream. But I do have the art. All right. Um. All right. So let's pull up the settings. things on my end that I have neglected to do because I have been getting things ready. But here I am. Alright, so here we have I am currently painting a friend uh, of mine and he specifically, I need to go over intermittently as I go through this I will be checking on the description that I was given for this person. But I have this uh, ready. So He's like super pale, he's got like moonlight white hair, which means I'm gonna have to remember to make that like the blue ish blue tinted. Um, and he's got like gold eyes and he's got the button up with like loose jeans. At least I did my best to do that. And I think with that I am good to actually focus on the shirt. So I wanna put a pattern on there. But I have not decided what the pattern is going to be. I think for now, though, it might be a good idea. I'll just do the skin layer first, and then afterwards I'll put on I'll put the thing in. Okay, so we're talking like super pale. I think it's like gray and stuff. Okay, yes, it is. All right. There's that. There's that. Now, I will also be filling in other spots. There we go. Alright. Um, and then, oh, so scandalous. He, I painted him with, I drew him with the ankle. But, let's go. Oh, I can immediately see why that why that filled in some blanks. But let's try that again. Yeah? There we go. Alright. Um, so with this in mind, let's fill in some of these lines. So that they're entirely filled. Uh, I'm going to practice this with uh, what I always end up saying. If you w are painting alongside me, drawing alongside me, doing anything sort of creative, definitely feel free to tell me about it in the sidebar. I am watching the chat right next to me. Um, and I would be absolutely fascinated to hear about what you're making. I am going to be also watching for any, any sort of complaints you might have about, about the volume. I have I have uh, headphones that I can adjust the volume of that way. It's not too loud for me, but it's a different volume for you. So. You will have to let me know if that gets to be too loud. Because um, I will not know. So, definitely just let me know uh, if anything needs to be adjusted. Make sure that you have a drink, a snack, all of that fun stuff. And that, um, as always, that you are stretching as we paint. Because, oh boy, we've gone over this before and I'll go over it again. You will feel it if you do not... Um, Take better, be better than I am. Take better care of your body than I am, because uh, we only have one to to do these, do our endeavors with. There we go. With that, I think we can actually properly get into that. So we have the skin, and now for this, I think I'll just hop right into the eyes and the mouth. I know you guys can't see the the layering thing, of course, but um, there we go. There we go. Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, but uh, whenever I am saying that I'm laying a thing, uh, I am going through the layers and such. Uh, I am going through the tools. 
eventually, uh, like I've said on previous streams, I know that I want to try to switch programs at some point when I have the capital to do so, um, to afford, to afford it. Cause I know Clip Paint, uh, I've heard good things about Clip Paint. So there's that. How has everyone's week been so far though? Mine has been pretty good. Uh, I ha I got something done that I needed to do for m my life, which I think we all know. Uh, anyone anyone who's kind of trying to do stuff on their own knows the importance of that. Um, unfortunately, as you get over the age of eighteen, there start to be more responsibilities. Surprise, surprise. Um, so there was that. Um, ooh, let's get those peoples in with the full opacity. But, uh, yes, I had some, I had some life things to handle over the last few days, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of the remodeling on my island that I've mentioned. I'm currently really pleased with the progress that I've been able to make. There are a few areas on my island that I am looking forward to that um, I've been sort of adjusting that I don't know quite what to do with yet but that's still waiting to be done but sorry I'm positioning a gun my end it is mildly distracting as I don't really recognize all of this um, but Oh, I had a train of thought and then I lost it. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. There's the eyes. Now, with eyes, it's a little bit more touch and go, but how, how close do you want to tell it to that line? Like that one little darkened spot there. I think I don't want that there. So I am just put internally inside the eye. There we go. we go all right now I'm not gonna do anything funny with the with the light with the eyes just yet I don't think just because I don't have the solution like I don't have the uh, like because when I do the eyes I have to get a little bit closer in so I'll show you for example I might do this but then I have to blend it and shade it, and if I blend it just the wrong way, then it doesn't look quite right because it blends the rest of it, because this is already in that line. But let's see what happens when I do. Because sometimes, by a miracle, it doesn't look that bad. So maybe. I mean, oh, actually, that just looks like it's, like, lightened a little bit, which I can appreciate. I think that's what I want to do. I think I'm okay with that. And then... I am going to make this a two-size square. Uh... Alice Edge, of course. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, I actually like that right where it is. Alright. So now we have the eyes and mouth done. But, now we have the hair. So let's get that done. Let's do that. Alright. So we're looking at white. But because it is supposed to be specifically moonlight white. Um, this makes it look almost silver. Which I think is what I'm going to try to go with. Oh boy. What happened there? Pretty sure I had the line art done the right way. But. Mayhaps I missed something. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, okay, so the rest, we need to figure out where that breach is. That is important. Yes, I think this is exactly where I want this color to be, by the way. This is like Moonlight White. Because it's got that blue tint, but it is very much like a silvery, like a silvery white sort of moon, moonlight color, which is what we want. Now today, my plan, um, once I've caught up on all my videos, is to, um, is to watch the second half of that, um, Critical Role episode. I am, there's so many, again, like I've, like I've talked about on, on a previous stream, there are a lot of reveals that happen in that, in that episode that I would like to fully understand, um, that I just don't. And like I accept that that's fine. Um, you gotta sleep. And Critical Role, unfortunately, is like is a show that goes for some people like me, like until like two in the morning. Like that's the kind of sleep pattern that I have, um, and it is not great. Yeah, not great. Um, I, or in the very least, sometimes it's that I'm tired. Sometimes it's that my brain just does not process information past the point because I have ADHD. Um, I'm sure this is a shock to you. <laughs> to anybody with ADHD, I'm sure that's a shock. But um, no, I digress. So there's so much information that it that gets packed into a single critical role episode that oftentimes, if it's not that I'm tired just will not process the information and if i finish the episode my i my brain sort of files it away as like oh so we finish it we don't need to worry about it now um and i will not remember to go back and rewatch it um so it, it takes a lot of finagling and working with the noggin i have but uh make it work I make it work. Uh, okay. So I wanna make sure that we're getting under all of these lines. Because if I go to try to do that thing where I take away the line art, I'm not seeing it. Um, in the painting work that I'm doing. Because that is, like I said, a style that I kind of wanted to try. But I have not had the patience or the time to set aside for that. Um, nor do I actually feel that good at painting yet. I, not to say that I'm not good at it, because obviously I didn't speak to offer, offering my services. But there are certain artistic skill sets that I don't feel skilled enough in yet. Um, to act as if I know what the hell I'm doing. You know what I mean? I feel like that makes sense. Does to me. You don't make sure that you're hydrating. If water is not doable for you, even if it's a sort of sugary drink, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hydration is your friend. I promise. I always try to have like a lemonade in my room for when in the middle of the night when it is time to uh, head to bed even for me and I'm just too dehydrated or I'm too hungry and sometimes a drink will, will make it easier to uh, actually go to bed to ignore that hunger until the morning so and just yeah Cause if you go, cause normally, obviously it's not good to ignore your hunger, but like if it's like six in the morning, definitely not speaking from experience, <clears throat> what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> then 
you need that sleep as well because your body is going to going to run on the hours that it that it does and it's going to feel if you stayed up late um, even if it, even if you've gotten the right number of hours that's why like a sleep pattern is so important um, and that's like okay if your sleep pattern doesn't like track with the way that most people think that it should uh, mine doesn't Mine is so whack that I don't know how to function during the day, for the most part. Um, at least, I don't know how to function during the morning, specifically. Because that's not how I, how I work. So that's the way that I need to make it work. Oh! I will up my volume. Thank you for letting me know. How is this? Is that better? Thank you for letting me know. Is that better? I will keep an eye on the chat as you let me know, and I'll adjust the the volume as needed. There we go. Alright, in the meantime, I think I do need to go to the skin layer, because there's a little dot that I noticed. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, um... How is your day, by the way? I know I do a lot of talking, that's the point of a Twitch stream, but... I like to hear- I like to hear from people who watch as well. Alright, while I... finagle whatever is happening over here. Oh, oh yes! I got it. Alright, I'm with the hair. Oh! I need to do the brows. I don't have brows, so I tend to forget them. On my pieces sometimes. If I don't do them immediately, first thing. Go. Is that right? Yes, that looks like the right size tool for that. Now, uh, as I s as I said before earlier in the stream, which due to volume might not have heard, um, I'm painting a friend, and I'm not sure how I do the ah. What was the video about? Not sure what brows to do. I also woke up a little bit ago as well. <laughs> I have an alarm set for like three hours before the stream just so I can have my time to like, you know that how you like stay in bed and you uh, can't make yourself move sometimes because like nothing feels overly pressing. That happens just about every day. So I set an alarm for three hours before the stream so I can have that set aside and then I can make sure I eat. Um, before I, before I stream. There we go. Oof. I do not enjoy the way that the, that the color from the hair versus the brows when I use this tool do not quite line up. That's mild irritating and I don't know how to fix that, but I think that might just be how the tool works, which is unfortunate. There we go. But also, like, I think it, I feel like it kind of fits. Even this, even if this tool was not meant for like brow brow hair, this tool I actually discovered while trying to find something to do beard hair. Um, and now I never use it for beard hair, but I have learned that it's extremely useful for um, for brows. Ooh, Octarius war. Octarius. War. An entire solar system embroiled in war by nearly all galactic factions at once. That sounds fascinating. That sounds like- that's fa Is that from a series? Let me- while I- is that from, What series is that from? I've- that- I have never heard of that, but it sounds really fascinating. There we go. Now we clean up the brows a little bit. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I like that brow. I like that brow shape. Okay, and then we clean it up on this side. And then we're going to... Ooh, okay, so I need to actually have that other the other side in view so I know how to, how to line it up. 
And then we just that just needs to flatten out a little bit. Ooh, no. Okay. Browse my belows. I don't enjoy painting brows. This might be the closest I can get to that, unless I also smooth out this and make it a little bit rounder. Because that might be the only fix here. Brows are not as fun. Warhammer? Ah, oh, I I have heard of Warhammer. Isn't that um? I admit I'm not as into like more of the more popular video games, but that sounds like a like a video game that I've seen. Um, but battle games, battle games is a game is a is a genre that I wish I could get into, because it definitely seems like really fun if that's the kind of mood you're in. And then okay, now what is what do we usually do next? I'm brain farting for a moment. Shoes. That is what's next. Uh, there we go. Now let's make the shoes layer. Not the shoes shading layer. The shoes layer. There we go. Um, now I think I'm going to give him like gray, like genie colored shoes. A lot of the video games that I end up being into um, are definitely admittedly like, that is not what I wanted to happen. Um, farm sims. <laughs> and by, and not like completely farm sims, but like Animal Crossing and things like that. Um, where you can actually run around and it feels a little bit 3D-esque, if that makes sense. That's fair. That is entirely fair. Um, <laughs> I would like to get practice, because I think you're referring to the metal thing, yeah? Um, no, the gore, right? Because uh, you said it's a war game. Because uh, I know there are some things that I want to... I'm trying to find the spots where I need to like add... Oh, right here. There we go. Um, there are some things in my... I don't want to like things that are on my list of things that I won't draw just because I don't feel skilled enough to feel like I should be paid for it yet um like an like things like animals and metal are only there because like I recently did um like this last year for a Christmas gift I did uh a a portrait of um all the of the D&D &D parties I'm in yeah that it definitely seems like it's filled with gore, just from like the way that you're talking about it, yeah. Um, and that's definitely something. Um, for but the gore thing is more that I'm not good with. Um, is more that I'm not good with injuries, and like actually like putting that in, um, and knowing how to do that effectively, uh, which is also something I'm trying to practice. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 interesting. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff that uh, is on my on my sheet is a lot due to like what I do or do not feel ready to paint or like skilled enough at painting, um, which just takes time to to practice and such. Now pants layer. Now these are supposed to be these are again going to be jeans, but I think I'm going to get it closer to this there we go that's the area that I want to be in I think that is the let's see what happens yes I effectively did those lines yes okay that is the fun part about about the way I do my line art um, the shading is where it's really at the shading is where I'm it's where it's really at because that's where I get to have a lot of fun um, because the way I do my line art is I make sure that I have all of these dots, all of the line art filled, so I can just use the fill tool and then go ham with the shading. Alright. Now, that shirt, he definitely said he wanted, he, that the person I'm doing this for definitely said he wanted blue. So that is where a lot of this is coming from. 
he actually has a twin who is super into like red and pink and those colors so it is not a surprise to me that blue is the is the theme that i was told to go with just for pure authenticity let me know if the music needs adjusting as well by the way um Something to think about the Imperium Wall is a human galactic empire. It is so horrible that it would utterly destroy, horrify, and break some of the worst dictators you've ever had. That is wild. That is wild. <laughs> I cannot imagine what that actually looks like. <laughs> and I mean, that's probably a good thing, but like, I cannot imagine what about that series slash game is 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 bringing that to mind holy crap <laughs> now let's see did i get it i did i did yes there we go oh okay now we want to make sure we're getting all these little blips yeah i end up i feel like the world for me personally in video games um the world is so has a lot of sad happening in it that I'm just like, you know what? I think I just want to make a castle on an island. I think that's I think that's all I want to do. I think that's all I want to do right now. <laughs> um, so that's what I end up doing, like a peaceful, uh, uh not full blown city, but like a suburb. Um, is what I dubbed the previous theme before I've started making adjustments. Because I had suburb core as my theme. I have my Animal Crossing Island. Excuse me. Um, for like months. There we go. Now I think... I'm still debating on if I want to put a design in the shirt. But I can't decide what that design would even be. Which is the only reason I put it off. Ooh. There's more to it than just the video games. The lore videos go deep into the abyss in terms of the wrong. What is... So what is Warhammer? Because I I have only seen, like, kind of passing mention it in the video game sphere. Is it, like, a like a series? Because there are definitely, like, games that I'm like, that sounds fascinating. Like, in my free time, I might, like... I might look into it at some point. But, like... I have no clue, like, where I... Like... What, what that would even look like. Oh, shoot. Did I do the shirt on the pants layer? I did. <sighs> I love when I do this. Oh, wow. Um, I I do need to recall after, after death. Okay, that's after. Okay, that's like later. That is... Yeah, if it's like space shit. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, not entirely as surprise. Okay. I think we're time to start shading. Alright. Skin shading. Um, so I'm gonna do natural shading first, and then afterwards I'm gonna decide what to do with the lighting. Um, and go from there. Oh no, did I not? Okay, I need a minute to, I need to correct something. Because I forgot this little blip too. No. Okay, that's too light. Definitely. Yeah, that's like the this is like the one downside to like fill tooling a lot of your art. Um, is that you end up missing little blips that aren't included in that. Okay, no, I'm pretty sure I got that. I'm pretty sure I got it this time. Alright, skin shading. <laughs> now let's see what we have here. Alright. Now, so with shading, I'm going to set the opacity to this tool um, to 80%, so it's almost completely completely shaded. Um, almost functioning like real, real shading, and then I'm going to set it to 10, which is what that was. There are chaos gods who feed off the emotions and thoughts of- That sounds really cool, actually. <laughs> um, that's a- that's a- that's just a really cool concept. Um, uh, I can see why- I can see why I see it. 
like, maybe not everywhere, but I can see why I see it, like, a lot. Um, that's really cool. I think anytime you have chaos gods in a, in a setting, in a scenario, you have a lot of potential to play with. Um, alongside, because alongside being an artist, like, I actually really enjoy narrative stuff. I'm a writer as well. Um, being on, it actually, <laughs> uh, it actually began on Tumblr, <laughs> where, um, I did, like, an Ask blog, but it has since moved to, um, to, like, other spaces where, like, or, like, Discord servers where I just write stories about characters with, uh, one of my partners. Um, so, I have a really deep appreciation for narratives and stories and such. Because God demons will confide into the real space, and these gods are beyond our comprehension in terms of the depths of wrong we'll go to. That is really cool. <laughs> I mean, like, they're not cool, obviously, but, like, it's, that's a really cool kind of concept to run with. That's awesome. Like, that's really creative. Um, cause then you can, cause then, A, narratively, that, like, gives a writer, like, a lot of room to go, okay, they did this awful thing. What's this awful thing? I don't know. It's so bad, we can't even imagine it. <laughs> um, which I am at, which helps a lot in the writing department, um, in that regard, for one. But also, um, is that at 90? No, that's at 96 opacity. I need to make that at 90. Thank you. Uh, and now with deeper opacity, okay. Da -da -da -da. I'm fiddling, fiddle faddling. Okay, nose. I'm trying to figure out what to do around the nose. Um, because I don't want to change the shading until I've done all over the body. But I don't, but I think I do need to add a deeper one in as well. A deeper shade. There we go. I think any time a world has, like, gods and such to mess with and, like, to build lore around. Like, I think any time, like, a world lore builds around, like, gods and, go and like, the things that they are capable of, like, you have a lot of potential to work with. It's really interesting, the things that you can do, because they're gods. They're not as limited by the, sh the shit that humans can do, the shit that people can do. They're gods. <laughs> um, so I think that's fascinating. There we go. Alright, so now, um... Arm shading. There we go. Corn, chaos of blood, war, rage, and death. All his servants are lunatic killers who are awarded a moment of happiness if they manage to kill someone. If they don't kill, they'll suffer withdrawals worse than any drug we currently have. That is... Wow. Obviously, like, because it's, in it's involving, like, murder, but, but like... They, like, in a way, they are also victim to this. Holy crap, that's interesting. That is a really good, like, narrative, like, take on it. Um, way to ensure that, like, that level of chaos continues to happen. I know I'm, I know I'm like, critiquing, like, something, like, that... Uh, <laughs> critiquing isn't even, isn't even the right word. I'm just, like, appreciating, like, a good story. Um... But, like, that's something I, I really enjoy. I enjoy a good story. Um, and that's half the thing, that's, it's half of what I do that I really enjoy. Um, there's painting, and then there's, like, creating a story through, like, through the D&D &D medium or through writing. If I can create a good story, if I can, like, witness a good story, there we go. <laughs> My day is made. Um, like, I'm currently doing some writing with my, with my partner in our Discord server, and it's a lot of fun. There we go. I'm actually going to turn this up a little bit on my end. Because it sounds interesting. I don't really know what, what this song is from. Um, I just have a Nintendo lo-fi on. 
Um, because otherwise I end up playing the same Kevin McLeod thing over and over again, and I began with that, and I don't think that is as interesting as it could be, you know? <laughs> Uh, on the feet, and then I will, um, up, and then I will make it a darker shading. Because I am actually, either I'm starting to get used to the, used to the color too much, or I, or it genuinely is too light of a shading. But it is good for natural shading. Um, uh, for now. It's a good starting point. Uh, so now I'm going to darken that up. Sanash Lanesh, Chaos God of Sadism, ma Masochism, Hedonism, and Excess Pain and Pleasure. If you've heard of Hellraiser, basically that times a, mi a million. I haven't, but that's... It does bring to mind um, that Rick Reardon series. I have not read it in like a while, but it brings to mind that, that Rick Reardon series where he goes into Egyptian lore. Um, if lore is the correct word to use for it. Um, but he, he goes into Egyptian lore and he brings it, but he taught, but like it centers around like where the main antagonist is a chaos god. Um, and I can't, and it's been years because I consumed it ravenously as a teenager in school. Um, but. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that. Um, so I don't remember why, but that does come to mind, um, with, uh, with set. Oh, I know this music. <laughs> this music in the background. Uh, I recently watched RT Games, um, well, I say recently, I don't know how recently, if it counts as recent anymore, but, um, his playthrough of Super Mario Sunshine, and he 100%ed it. Um, so I have that in my head a little bit more. And so he spent like hours at a time in all the levels, um, trying to get all the coins, all the stars, or I think it was stars. Yes, um, the shines. That's what it was. Um, and so I ha so this is from that game, and it's like still fresh up in my head. It's pretty good music, though. There we go. I'm gonna clean up some of this shading right now, just so I don't have to do it later. Um. Because I'm already going to have to clean up some shading. Uh, just from the inside of this hand. Um, and that's okay, but it just means that I want to take care of that sooner rather than later. Oh. Shanesh basically treats pain and pleasure as the same thing. Slanesh is possibly the only trans being who is he, she and generally feeds off extreme agony and extreme pleasure. I mean, iconic. <laughs> no, that's... Yeah, I think any... That, I mean, there. this is just fascinating lore. This is fascinating lore. I love this. I love hearing about this, actually. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think Slanesh should be able to do that as a treat. <laughs> and it's queer phobic to try to stop him. <laughs> stop him. Uh, <laughs> not actually, but we stand a queen. <laughs> uh, sorry, fucking solidarity. I am also extremely gender queer. <laughs> you know, you got you got to have solidarity. That is God, this lore is cool. All okay, right. Now this oh god. 
that is definitely going to be some cleaning up that I'm going to have to do, but that's okay. I will do that later. Uh, details are not where my head's at at the moment. Should be. I'm literally painting. Um, <laughs> uh, but my head's... But I did not do the thing that helps me with my ADHD today. Not yet, so... Uh, my ADHD is going... Oh, yes, there's the serotonin. We go. Hell yeah. Um, and then we're gonna put this here. So that's where the bend of the wrist is. I don't even, like, know how to mimic that at the moment. Um... Oh boy, okay. It is about the 45 minute mark, so that was probably a good time to start cracking my neck. <laughs> but 45 minutes is when I really start to feel it. Um, so, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Now, I am, I am genuinely looking forward to, like, we're gonna start playing video games on on this channel as well. Nurgle, Chaos, God of Decay, Corruption, Rot, and all plagues. His gifts are things that make you sick. He is the definition of abhorrent, disgusting. That is really like interesting character design. I just That's a unique character. Like that is that is a memorable thing to have about like a character you've made. I kind of adore the character building of all of this. Like that's fascinating. There we go. All right, now I said I was going to wait to clean this up. But I will wait to clean up the other side. Um uh, cuz it's less over the top than this side. There we go. Ba -ba -do. I do actually kind of want to check what this one, what this music is from, because I'm, it's kind of a bop, actually. <laughs> it's pretty good, I'm just hanging out, and I'm, and I'm like, playing Animal Crossing, and I need music to listen to, kind of music. I'm gonna check real quick, if you'll allow me a moment. Clubhouse Games Concentration. Oh, okay. That's what that is. There we go. I'm actually gonna take a, as soon as I finish cleaning up this stroke, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. There we go. Weirdly enough, I think I just tasted an aftertaste of, um, like, doctor, like, root beer or something. My drink for today, my choice of drink for today is um, Dr. Perky, the best kind of Dr. Per like off-brand Dr. Pepper in the entire world. Um, it's like super off, it's like a uh, super like market store sort of level uh, off-brand. To Zach, I, I'm, I butchered that. Uh, mm. Chaos God of Knowledge, Sorcery, Time, and Change. Basically, people like Hawkins would fit as one of his champions. Yeah, you seem- that sounds like one of the only ones that- that, like, is, like, not good, per se, but, like, neutral. Like, like, he could probably swing both ways and probably has, like, a little bit more, like, control over, like, the way that his aspects control him. At least as it seems like. Like, if I- like, if I were writing- that sort of character. That's that's the choice I would make. Like most, like most of them so far have have seemed like characters, like beings that don't have a lot of control over what they're doing because they're so compelled by their nature. But this one has like a string of logic to it. Um. Yeah, that that allows him a bit more like control. Oh, I need a stretch. <laughs> I need to stretch. <laughs> I am so gonna crack my back after after I finish streaming. 
it has hidden that time of like the stream where I start to like really feel it. But that's all right. That's why I don't paint every day. That's why I don't stream every day. I stream like every other. Cause I already am not great to my back as is. Okay. So this is the compromise. Okay, this is maybe not okay. This is fine. This just means it's like strong sh strong shadows. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> I am the best speech giver in the entire world. <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna go to forty three on this one now. Um. And set it to five. Nah, knows pretty much everything and enjoys messing with people. If you need a bit of knowledge, he'll accept. He'll expect payment. And that knowledge may not even be worth it because he can always lie to you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, my thoughts are more that like it probably means that he is like, like just because he has the a little bit. I imagine him having more capacity of control, more capacity for control over like. The compulsions that his like aspects bring um that he has more control because it sounds like the others don't have as much like room to go okay no nope, i'm just gonna compulsively do this thing when like it sounds like he has like a little bit a modicum of of more like okay no i'm gonna do this then and here and there and blah 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 um a little bit more calculated as it were now, I'm going to do under the eyes. Now, I always sort of shade under the eyes like this. Because um, I don't always do the folds that come with the eyes. Um, that that sometimes come with the eyes. Um, so, this tends to be how I shade under the eyes. Admittedly, this is absolutely somewhere I could probably, I could probably stand to do a bit more practice in. Um... I am well aware of this. And then we shade under here again. There we go. The chaos gods, while they rarely work together, they more often than not are at war with each other. That makes entirely... That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um... Because it's just a bunch of suffering that they that they want to create, um, varying types and degrees. But like, what they want to make is suffering. It sounds like so. That's what it seems like. That's not surprising. There we go, and then. There we go. So then that gives me a little bit of blending room. Sort of create a rounder face. We're going to put that shading here. And then... I'm going to shade over here. There we go. Alright. And then we have that. What is left is now to do the lighting on the face. Let's just see what that... Hmm. I think we make that... No, I think to make it like a more naturally lit face. I'm gonna keep it at that and then like that type of that type of um, shading and that opacity. But I'm not going to do it on the cheeks until I know what that looks like. Um, so it's going to be... Okay, so this is going to be interesting trying to shade that. Corn, for instance, finds Slanesh dis utterly disgusting and if one of Corn's killers lets a victim experience even an amount of pain, that feeds Slanesh. That, yeah, I can, ooh, interesting. So it's a balance of, so I imagine that's like a balance of like, do you really want to feed my rival sort of a thing, right? Could be wrong. 
I mean, that's that's what I'm picking up. I mean, yeah, I mean, that game just seems, and this is all from Warhammer, yeah? That seems like, that, like, that's really interesting world building. Like, I kind of adore that, adore this, like, the world building that I've heard about so far. Okay. And then we blend, and we blend. I will do a cleanup layer. I'll make a cleanup layer as soon as I am done blending this. And then I'll go from there. So this is probably not as as um, pale as the person who I'm painting probably would describe themselves. But uh, I can only do my best. In other words, they have to cause instant death just to avoid slanesh. Yeah, that absolutely sounds like that's that is the case. Yeah, that is balancing act. One heck of a balancing act. And then I'm going to make that a smaller tool. There we go. And then we have that going on and we have that. Okay. I think I'm okay with the face that way. All right. Yeah. Uh okay. I'm I'm starting to reach. Okay. Do 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 do. do. Okay. 15. Oh, there is the fifth, but he is a minor chaos god, simply known as Malice. I mean, I think no sort of, like, chaos slash, like, ma malevolent, like, pantheon is, is complete without a Malice. Or, ma or like, that sort of thing in there. That's, yeah, I just think, I just think. It's like, it's like, it's like you're missing a thumb. Like, huh. We're missing something important here. <laughs> like, yes. Absolutely missing something important here. And then I think I am good to shade. Good to hit blend. I think I might have gone like a little too dark on the shading, on the shade for the shading, but that's not unforgivable. Then I will blend what's around everything else on the on the hand specifically, separately. Malice is basically destruct destruction of that reason. Yeah, that is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Malice is like a must for a pantheon. I feel like that that's like neutral slash malevolent in any way. Like, there's something you're missing there if you don't have like, I want the capacity to hurt just for hurting's sake. Um, but then I will say it does allow me to picture that like Malice and... Uh, Slanesh probably maybe aren't like friends but like or working together but they f they feed a little bit more they feed off each other a little bit like that um you know that that example of like a bird that sits on like the rhinoceros's head or something that like that that's what comes to mind um with this with this specific Example. Okay. Ah! Sorry, my brain is... Okay. There we go. Alright. Not my best shading, but it's creating that shape that I want. So I can live with that.
There we go. And then we have that shape. All right. Now, I just am going to shade what's at the ankles, and then I'm going to start cleaning everything up. Um. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Let shade that a little bit bigger. Yeah. No. That was a little bit too much. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This feels like okay. What is this? America's Test Kitchen. Okay. In the wake of Doshin the Giant. Okay. I can live with that. Okay. I'm switching music. So that was starting to sound like elevator music to me. <laughs> um, okay. So I did that around where did I do th around the arm? No? Oh, no, okay. And then cleanup layer. Now I'm trying to think of what uh there's a group of space marines who call themselves the Sons of Malice and they will fight everyone, whether chaos or otherwise. They also are quite creepy. They never make battle cries. They never care if one of their own is killed. They never make a sign to show emotion or pain. Wow. They most describe them as silent killers as they are as if they are 100% soulless. I can see why they would have that that reputation. Now, what is a good background for this for me to clean up against? Like, this is gonna take... Uh, maybe like a darker... Like a dark shade. 500. That's usually the way in which I go about this. There we go. And then I'll just remove this cleanup layer. This is very specifically a cleanup layer. Uh, so that I can... Oh, yeah. This, like, irradiates the shading that, like, came off the, that came off the canvas. Uh, it's very important when you're painting to have, that's just chaos. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Now, it's very important when you're, <laughs> it's very important when you're, uh, when you're making a, a cleanup layer like that, like the one I just made, um, that it's one that like, oh boy, I missed some patches on the hair. I'll clean it up later. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> but I missed some patches on the hair. There we go. Uh, because if you pick the right cleanup layer color to just have behind your character or wherever or whatever the thing is that you're shading, it can like basically you see how much how irradiated that these like the outside of these lines are. It does this. That's what it does. It makes sure that this is plain as day. Um, and you want to pick the right shade so that um, the color that you're trying to see to clean up is seeable. So that you can clean it pretty easily without having to like squint or lean forward too much and having to like it all up in the screen just to see it. Uh, makes it so much easier. There are tier knights, there's Eldest Bar, Imperial Guard, etc. Yeah, and this is all like different things in the games that you might be able to play as I am curious like where like the game stops and the lore begins because this is a lot of lore interesting lore but a lot of lore there we go okay there we go and there we go now I'm starting to now, moments like this is where I can tend to hyper-focus on this, so I do apologize if I'm not immediately noting something that's being said in the chat. Um, 
or from not having fun commentary at the moment. This requires a bit of focus so that I'm not dipping too much into where I've blended the shading that I'm cleaning up. So I want to make sure that I don't mess it up too much. Gotta focus. And that arm is done. That arm is cleaned up. The head is face is cleaned up. Okay. Now this hand. This arm. I'm gonna start. The lore begins millions of years before humanity even existed. I'm not complaining. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm enjoy I enjoy I enjoy getting to stream. And sometimes there will be moments where I'm just hyper focused on the one thing that I'm trying to do at the moment. Um, cleaning up is the most tedious part of painting um, for me because of the way that I paint. Um, so it takes a bit of extra focus because uh, I don't yet know how to navigate my art program in a way that like sort of goes anything you touch in this specific sector is not going to go out go outside of the space that you're coloring um, and painting um, so it does leave cleanup to be done um, mildly inconvenient but uh, if everyone could do art <laughs> then there would be no artists really because everyone would be an artist There we go. Oh, ba, 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 ba. ba, ba, ba. Some people get stressed from games like what you're talking about. I get stressed that I'm gonna miss a line out of this because a lot of my pieces are PNGs, meaning there is no background and they're basically transparent behind the figure that I paint. So if there's any line art so if there's any shading outside of this if there's any shading outside of like where i want it to be you can it sticks out like a sore thumb <laughs> so i have to make sure i get every little bit or i notice it afterwards that's why i always have this sort of cleanup layer here to compare it up against so that i can make sure that i catch it okay art is a skill um uh, and like sometimes like it's absolutely important if you do art to do it for fun um uh, it is absolutely important that like you set aside time for yourself like there are pieces that i just won't show on stream or i will do a large portion of it off of stream because and a lot of these pieces i will a lot of the times try to like start and start so that i have something to do on the stream but like a lot of the time, it is a lot of, of just going, hey, this sounds cool, this sounds fun, I could I can enjoy painting this. And then that's it. That's, that's, and it's fun. Um, and then the stream getting to see some of the process is just like icing on the cake or whatever. Um, so. So it's fun to balance it out. Um, anything that you, that you try to like make like a thing like this. Um, eventually, like, it's important to have that balance of, like, okay, yes, this is, that's all this is, um, that you are also having some fun with it, um, in your free time, and you're not trying to, like, make something of it the entire time. So that's something I try to balance, okay. Okay, let's get the five... I'm like uh, so all that is all that comes from the thought of just like it's okay if art sucks because sometimes you're just you're just painting for sometimes you're just doing art for fun um I know for a long time my art was like just like sketching Ooh, look at that lip now you can see that it looks like there's like a shine on the lower lip which is what I was going for um there we go um, uh, oh no, oh, I need to make that opaque in some, to some degree. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, but yeah, I think, I mean, I didn't do art for a while until, like, I found one person that was in my life at the time 
that just made me want to paint more. Um, and it's like a thing that some people just don't end up having that moment, and that's entirely fine. As long as like art is fun, it's okay if it sucks. <laughs> like you're here to paint. You're there to paint. You're there to draw. You're not there to like reinvent the mo like the fucking Starry Night, you know. <laughs> you're there to have fun. Okay, now we're gonna up the that opacity again, and we're gonna put that there. Um, depends on the link. Um, if it's for like self-advertising purposes, I'm gonna ask that you not. But if it's just like War Warhammer, then yeah, that's fine. Um, that said, if you want to tag me on Twitter with stuff that with stuff that you want to show me, if that's what it is, uh, that is clockwork underscore sis on Twitter, uh, and I can take a look at it there. Okay, now let's clean let's clean this up a little bit. There we go. All right, now I'm going to have to erase the. Th that's over here. Admin, um, as a tip, I also will not see the thing. <gasps> no, I did all that on the wrong layer. I'm a dip. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I will not be able to see anything that uh, it's just a shame my best drawing possibly only one I've only one I've done uh, Which is a couple years old now um, Sure, I will not I can open up the link uh, In that case yes god uh, Oh no, I need to clean up. Ugh, I missed something on the skin shading. Oh no, I think that's actually the skin layer. Okay. Oh, it's a Google Drive thing. That may take a moment to load, but I got you. Hair shading. That's the hair shading layer. Okay. There we go. Now I can actually clean this up the way it's meant to be. That's pretty good. That that's pretty good. I couldn't have been able to draw something like that when I started. That looks really good. Like I did not start out painting something like this, you know. I started. I started out doing like. Um. I'm trying to think, cause most of my, cause I actually started out doing um. Actually, I'll have to get. I'll have to step away from my computer for a moment. But if I can get my um. If I can get a, I have a thumb drive with stuff from uh, when I first began painting, and I can show you some of my first drawings then, because I started out not doing the best best work. Um, so I'll be right back. I'm just gonna pull. Up, I'm just gonna pull up the beer at back screen, and I'm gonna go get that. Alright, I did find my art folder, okay. Now, I just need to pull it up. 2020. Oh, I did not save all of my pieces, because I started painting, uh, like, December of 2020. Um, uh, let's see, what is this piece? There we go, yeah, okay, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show on screen. My first piece. Uh, okay, let me... Yeah, no, I think that's a good spot to put it. Okay. Uh, buh -buh. 
window capture. First piece. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Explore. I do not quite know how to... Oh gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is gonna take a minute. <laughs> and then I can move the window capture, because I have not yet... No, um, I know that the BRB screen is, is there. Um, that is on purpose. <laughs> um, so that I can find it. Display capture. Is that it? Okay. Windows 10. Nope, not what I'm looking for. I'm trying to find the right thing before I, um, before I fuck around and show the wrong thing. <laughs> Um, image. Browse? Okay. I'll do it from here. Okay. This is gonna take a minute. There we go. Okay. Um. So, there we go. This is my first piece. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, if you were to compare that to what I'm what I'm doing right now, like, let me move this real quick, just so that it's a little bit more like, look at that, look at that, oh, oh, did I move that to the wrong side, I did, that's my bad, there we go, there we go, I mean, it's a progress, it takes time, it takes practice to get better. Um, that, the green piece is the piece that I did, is the first piece that I have in my drive file um, from that year. And, the piece, and then we have the piece that I'm working on right now. It takes time. <laughs> um, and like, I think at that time I was actually ready, like com for my skill at the time, like, I was pretty proud of that. Um, and I think I still am for that being a starting point. Uh, so, I mean, nothing to be like, like, there's nothing bad about, like, just starting from, like, a place that's, like, less than, that's less than what you deem to be perfect. So, like, be proud. That, like, that's a good piece. Okay, uh, hair. <laughs> I did briefly get distracted from that, but I do want to finish the hair at least. Um, n well, yes, but I also do this by hand. I don't have an I don't have an art pad, like an art tablet. I do this with my mouse. Like, I remember when I when I first showed my artistic girlfriend. Um, some of my pieces and I said oh yeah no I just use my mouse pad um, because it's one of those like touch mouse pads um, which makes it easier uh, she she's like she was even more impressed <laughs> by, by the progress that I'd made um, oh boy okay time to clean that up let me clean that up as I blah, 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 blah. um so like Definitely, it's a skill thing of, like, practice and time. Um. Because art tablets are expensive. Um, and it's not something everyone can do. <laughs> um. And admittedly, I want to kind of invest in, like, a desk first. So that I'm not destroying my back. <laughs> when I paint. Um. My artist personally diminishes as I got older. That's what's odd is I could draw these when I was a kid. I mean, sometimes that's how it goes. Um, I know that um, with my hand drawings, uh, my traditional drawings, I used to draw dragons a lot, and that was actually where I started like my traditional hand pra hand drawing practice. Um, 
Oh, this music is going to be distracting. I'm going to change that real quick. <laughs> Oh no, my ADHD is kicking in. No, I'm just gonna turn it down. Um, <laughs> um, ease when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, I think like we like, a it depends on like how often you practice, and uh, like the way in which that you draw. Cause I know when I first began drawing. Oh, I am, ah, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, but the, I, so I also began drawing as, uh, with the dragons. That's like, it sort of sparked my interest in sort of trying to learn how to draw. Um, and that was where I practiced a lot of them. No follow notifications? I do not. I do not know how to set those up and I have not had the time to do that. Um. Because I stream for about an hour and a half, and then, like, my time, it's, like, 4.30, and um, that's when my brain kicks into other gear. But I definitely want to set it up. Do not worry. Uh, mostly, admittedly, I'm procrastinating that, but it's definitely something that I want to get into. To, to actually fucking get together. <laughs> uh, it's on my to-do list. I do not- ooh, are they? I will have to see. I don't think I can do that while I'm streaming, but, um... Actually, well, I am i wouldn't know if I can do that while I'm streaming, but I can absolutely see what, what to do about that. Um, because I don't know what that's about. I thought that was something you had to put in yourself. There we go. Heck yes. Okay. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna shade the lighting on this hair, but that's all right. <laughs> did I just hear the Mario theme for that? I did. Okay. <laughs> God, my brain is starting to like go a little haywire. Um. Uh, fun. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to set aside some time tomorrow or some time this coming weekend. Um, I can. Just can change the capture device while streaming. How do I do that? Because uh, I do not know. I have... I use OBS. Uh, I will fiddle with that in a moment. Um, but, in the, but in the meantime, I don't know how to do that. So I can, but I don't know how. Then, um, how do I do that? Because I thought it was like that was a Streamlabs thing. Because I don't have Streamlabs downloaded. I should. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I am well aware that I should have that. Granted, I'm not experienced with streaming probs, progs. Uh, that's fair. Um, yeah, that's one of those things that, like, over the weekend in the least, I want to, over the weekend, if not tomorrow, I want to set aside some time to actually figure that out, get a few more bips and bobs. Um, it hasn't been a thing, just because I haven't had a lot of interaction with the streams, uh, for the most part, up until, like, now. Um, so I haven't really felt the urgency to do that. Um. But it is absolutely on my to-do list. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'll do it off stream later, just in case, because we are reaching the an hour and a half point, which I usually stop around an hour and a half, like hour forty-five minutes. Um. Uh, just uh, so I don't lose my mind. I can I can start streaming longer when I have video games, but for now my brain gets fried at about like an hour and a half. Um in terms of knowing, like, how to entertain, I guess. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to be finishing this, and then I will be setting, um, I'll be, like, putting a notification on our door. I did stream a years ago, but stopped doing due to discouragement. I mean, yeah. Uh, 
I think I mostly like the routine of like streaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I like the routine of it. Um, it's very like I'm very much a routine oriented person, so I enjoy like just sitting here. And plus, like it gives me the feeling of like oh I've I've socialized with people for the day, <laughs> even if I haven't gotten gotten engagement on the stream for the day. It feels like I've been talking to people because like. I literally have been trying to talk to people for like an hour and a half. Um, and so it feels like social engagement while also like not being social engagement sometimes. Um, so I think I'm, so I think I don't mind it very much. Um, plus it's one of those things where for me, I'm like, I like doing art. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to want to do it. Um, as well. And yeah, it requires a, like a little bit of prep like the night before a stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the VODs. I... Yeah, I don't back all of them up. Um, but I will probably be backing this one up onto my YouTube channel um, so that I can... Because I don't back all of them up, but I do back up some of them. Um, and I will be doing that with this one on, um, clockwork. Yes, clockwork system. I need to make sure I have the actual channel Hello? correct. Um, the one that I upload it to. But I do have one that I upload these to. Uh. Oh boy. My brain is really, really getting there. <laughs> Almost. Um, new channel. Clockwork system. Yeah, clockwork. Um, I upload these to clockwork system. Um, are you in D&D instead of art? Because most of the time I do D&D art. Uh, most of the time I'm drawing a tiefling or I'm doing an orc. Um, I also don't know how to change it. <laughs> I, like, like I, like I kind of know, but I've, but I, uh, it, I can't find the digital art part. Um, and for now, since most of the time I do end up doing digital, like, D&D character art. Um, and that's where I do a lot of my art also all the time. Anyways, streaming or not, um, I just kept it in D&D. &D. Now, I might, um, if I end up doing more than, than just like the art I'll end up changing it but for now I'm pretty I'm pretty pretty solid in this in this area feels like all right um and then finally we get to shade and blend we've put the shading down it's time to blend this mother hacker I don't know why I said hacker there that was silly that was silly of me <laughs> Oh, yes. Would you look at that? Glorious. I I love it. I love it. There we go. Hell yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, there we go. There we go. Ah, it's simply art. If it, if I stream old games and if it's a category of retro. Okay, art. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I will keep that in mind. I'll, uh, I will probably down, I will probably adjust that when I, um, uh, get off stream. Uh, since I am just about done, I'm just gonna clean this up. There isn't much cleanup to do on this. Um, but I'm pretty happy with what I was able to get done today. B -b -b yes, okay. Here we go. Okay. And then I clean up here. And with that, I think I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to end the stream. Um, with an outro, of course. But, um, wait, did I clean that? Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, if I have the patience, I will try. Yeah, D&D, &D, yeah. Um, mostly, yeah, because most of the time I do end up being, like, 
real big on like drawing tieflings and that sort of thing. Um, orcs, changelings. So pretty happy with that. All right. Um, with that in mind, I am actually. There we go. I'm gonna call it a day. Um, so I am going to hydrate, get some snacks, and crack my back because I am feeling it. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed this. I am really happy. Yeah, homebrew map making. One of these days, I might do that on. I might do that on stream. Um, if I know that the people who are in my personal games will not be watching. <laughs> um, because I do have a game that I run. Uh, if, is that a question or an offer? Because <laughs> um, I know for a fact I don't have great posture. Um, and this is not conducive to a good posture. Um... <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh god, I can feel it. I can feel it in my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, mostly in terms of my back, I just make sure that I stretch before and after a stream because I spend most of it hunched over like this. Um, and like several other times during the day when I'm on days when I'm not streaming. So I do my best. <laughs> that, that and lots of stretching. That's the best I can do. Um, so I really am going to end the stream, so if you enjoyed this, um, let me know if you have any feedback, uh, make sure that, like, you're taking, that you're taking care of your body, snacks, drinks, all the fun stuff, and if you were making stuff, hug yourself, have your hand, or just hold it, and then, hmm, I'll have to try that. Um, and if you ended up making anything alongside me, I would like to see that on Twitter if you're comfortable sharing. <laughs> um, and with that, I am actually going to end the stream. This will be uploaded to my YouTube, uh, Clockwork Sis. Clockwork System. My Twitter is Clockwork underscore Sis. And Instagram for my art is Clockwork Sis, no underscore. Have a lovely day. And thank you for joining me. <laughs>